Hello friends, good evening everyone. Welcome to the Precision Price Action Pro Trader Series. This is Ashok Devanam Priya, your trading buddy. The topic for today is the limitations of candlesticks. Friends, you all know that candlesticks are called as visualization buddies. They are one of the most useful methods in price action trading. You have bar charts, you have line charts and the kind of visualization the kind of uh, absolute visibility that candlesticks gives, none of them will ever match. But candlesticks also have their own limitations. In spite of being a visualization buddy, it has its own limitations. And let's try to get and get in and understand what it is. So this is a typical candle. What kind of a candle is this? A beautiful momentum candle. A body which is greater than 50% of the total length. Is it an ERC candle? It's a beautiful bullish momentum candle plus an ERC candle. An ERC candle is considered to be a very good momentum candle, right? Yeah. Now, there is one simple ask. There is something called as a journey. Imagine this is a daily candle. All right. It's a daily candle where market opened It's a daily candle where market opened here. This is the low. This is the close. This is the high. Correct? Now, where did the market open? It opened here. It started in the morning here. Now, the price can go all the way, travel wherever it wants, okay, form a high, come down, form a low, <coughs> and close it here, correct? Price can go however it wants, right? Price opened here went all the way formed some high went all the way down and formed a low and finally it closed here how do you mark it you take the open you take the open you take the high you take the close and you take the low correct when you merge them you get a damn candle the same candle you will get correct now, but the same candlestick can have an entirely different journey. It can open here. It opened here, it went all the way somewhere, it formed a low, it formed a high, then it closed it. Do you know the difference between these two travel paths? Can you guys visualize what the candlestick has been doing now? This is a possible journey, right? Same thing, open of the first candle, lowest low, highest high and close. Now I am going to put both of them together. What is the difference between these two? The price opened here, formed a high first and then formed a low and then closed it there. In the second scenario, the price opened, formed a low first and then went down to form another high and came down. This path you will not know if you look at a daily time frame. You will only know when you go into a lower time frame, when you explore this daily time frame into multiple small candles, 
and that is when you know what happened this is one limitation of a candlestick but you can always go to a lower time frame to understand its journey in price action there is a concept called source of engulf we'll talk about it probably in the subsequent uh, topics but the aspect is from where did the momentum start from where did the action start from where did the real buying pressure start from where did the real selling pressure start these are the points on which we will fight the game ultimately it boils down to some orders pending orders you guys have already discussed about it who moves the market market orders or limit orders market is always moved by market orders but limit orders triggers extensive liquidity and they are the foundation of price action we will talk about it in subsequent slides for now this is one of the biggest limitation but once you do multi time frame when you are trading on a <coughs> smaller time frame let's say 5 minutes you see three levels right 5 minutes 15 minutes hourly if you are trading on a daily candle you see daily weekly monthly so that multi time frame analysis will help you to understand the price action at a deeper level at a nested level is a bit advanced concepts which we will talk in the subsequent slides okay so that's what happens here see either it can go this path or that path both paths same candlestick the the color the dimension the design of the candlestick never changes this is one of the biggest limitation of candlesticks okay so they are the best visualization buddies they also have limitations all right we have to go deeper into low time frames to track the path of the candlestick and its subsequent journey this is one important topic which i wanted to share with you all and um, <clears throat> i'm sure many of you don't know this all right so i'll come back again tomorrow with yet another interesting topic until then signing off the trading buddy ashok devanapriya thank you